It is always a question of what is coming up next, how your current device is performing, and how manufacturers are trying to persuade me to think that I need something that I really don't need. There is no question that the smartphone market is overwhelmed with a super amount of choices. From size, budget, to platforms, we are at an era of utopia when it comes to smartphones. Money is no longer really an excuse not to have a device that is more than to make phone calls. This is Oz Ackman. You are watching Techos. I was personally lucky enough to own my own smartphone without a contract. As a family man with two kids, wife and a cat, I tend to look for things that are a great deal. Best bang for my buck. That's what I found back in October 2013, the Nexus 5. I figured instead of chaining myself to a two-year contract with $200 out of pocket for a flagship, I decided to bite the bullet, sell my old phone on eBay, add $200 to it, and get the 32 gig Nexus 5. All the specs on the device were at par with all flagships at the time such as the HTC One M8, Galaxy S5, LG G3. Also, owning a Nexus device is not only about the hardware, but also the experience Google services they offer without all the bloatware other manufacturers put on their flagships. Looking at you, Samsung and LG. Another plus side, you don't have to wait for carriers or manufacturers push the update to your Nexus device. You get your latest dessert before anyone else. Device shipped out with KitKat at the time a major improvement compared to ice cream sandwich and performance and tweaks. As with any major update on Android with some bugs like there always is, one by one Google updated the OS and improved the device immensely in every way. Same pattern followed with Lollipop updates. At this point the device runs better than it did when I first bought it back in 2013 and for a phone that is two years old, performing the way it does, it is quite amazing. I compare the Nexus 5 to a professional footballer. In your rookie years, you can run harder and dribble faster, but you're not any smarter wasting too much energy, and you crash more frequently. And as you would with experience, you get older and wiser. You learn to play smarter and make every move count. You end up being a delight to watch, just like Zidane was before the hammerhead. People complain about the Nexus 5 cameras, but I was able to capture quite a few shots as seen with little to no effort. With the HDR mode, indoors and outdoors you can capture some pretty decent pictures. I do use Google Camera app, but there are third party software out there that allows you to have more control of your settings than Google would like. But after all, that is the beauty of open source and options that makes this platform what it is. As I hold my device, in my hand, I realize that her screen may not be as sharp or current as the flagships now, has less RAM and battery life is nowhere near as good, but to me none of that really matters. This device aged so well with time for me, still does anything I throw at it, and I would not call the negatives mentioned as shortcomings at all. For $399, 8 megapixel camera, wireless charging, Snapdragon 800 processor, 5 inch display with 443 PPI, this really is a great device. Unless the 2015 variant of Nexus 5 will come with a fingerprint scanner, I still have no reason to upgrade to Nexus 6, S6, G4, or whatever letter or number you throw out there.